Hey guys and girls, and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Bare Knuckle 3. In the last episode, we finished playing Choo Choo Trains with all the thugs and what have you, and now we've gone a little bit deeper into the Syndicate's headquarters, and we're inside this kind of, um, I don't know, this kind of basement looking area, I suppose. I mean, it's very, very, very elaborate for some sort of basement area. I mean, it's very, very purple, pink, mauve sort of thing. Well, it's definitely not pink, but <laughs> definitely got a kind of, um, I don't know, kind of feminine touch to it, which is um, quite ironic for a group of killer ninjas. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, weapon-heavy uh, section. This first bit here, which um, makes it more of a shame that Rue can't pick up any uh, items. But you know, <laughs> fuck it, hell, doing the Sonic fucking super spin attack. You were, weren't you? Well, yeah, which is a shame, you know, because uh, I'm pretty sure there's enough Rue that could have done. But he's got enough moves in his arsenal, so um, especially that killer tail of his. Now, I think. I'm hoping Kusugi is the last, uh, sorry, Kusugi is the last enemy. Right, now I'm going to pause the game here at this point because there are actually four ways out of this section. Um, the door on the bottom right hand uh, corner is where it's the actual exit to, this, um, to the next section. However, uh, just above Rue's head there is a cracked panel in the wall. Uh, the wall next to the door is also a uh, uh, cracked, so that could be broken as well. And the floor that Rue is standing on, however, that is also cracked, so that can be broken as well. So you've got three secret exits <laughs> at this stage. So what I'm going to do now for you guys is I'm going to show you all three. First of all, we're going to start off with the one on the floor. What I've got to do is just attack the um, relevant section, and then you go straight to the secret area. And this is the first one. Not too many, not too many enemies in this one, apart from uh, Chibo, who's got one life. But as you can see there, and right by Rue's feet, we got ourselves a one-up right there, so that's all good. Now I don't think this section's too long. In fact, I actually hope it's not too long, and that was a waste of a Tatsu. So let's just quickly rush to the edge. Ooh, gold bars! That's very handy. I mean, after all, that's um, nom 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 nom. Well, no, I wouldn't eat a gold bar, actually. I would eat an apple, but I don't think I'd eat an apple from the floor. I tell you what, that Chibu, he's very, very distinctively coloured up from the other rest. From the other rest? What kind of English is that? From the rest of the ninjas. I mean, he's actually quite appropriately coloured when, when you think about it. Right, so I think... I think these two are now the only two left, so... We'll do the tail spin on him, and we'll just kick him so he can't have any children. Oh, no, here come a couple more. Oh my goodness me, though, they're coming out in full force. But that's nothing for the, the, the ninja kangaroo. Oh, and you've got to watch out for that little low kick as well, because that's really fucking cheap. The amount of times I've been caught by that is unbelievable. Tatsumaku sen pyokaku! Or was it pyokaku? I can never ever remember. I don't know I said that before, guys, but it's, it's, it's just something that makes me wonder. Right, just fly kick. Oh, nicely counted. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you the panel just here. That wall must have been very thin for a, like for for Rue to be able to smash through it. Now here's another one up there, as you saw in this one. Now this one, as you can see, is also a very short one. In fact, there are no enemies in this one at all, so... Oh, I tell a lie, there's Dragon, but he hasn't got much health, so... Stop blocking, you bastard. There we go, that's more like it. Ha ha ha! Couldn't block that, could you? There we go. There. Easy as nothing. Right, guys, now it's time to take you to the third and final exit, which is through here, the top panel, which is what actually what I'm going to be fully commentating through now. So, uh, now, now, this is the longest of the secret rooms, and it's also the hardest as well. So, think very carefully if you want to, um, if, if you actually want to go through this way. The rewards are definitely worth it, but. You gotta make sure you have your skills about you, because everyone here is very well equipped. Not in that sense either, you dirty, dirty bastards. <laughs> and that was a waste of a tattoo. Stop kicking me, Tiger! Seriously! Then you've got four other geezers here that you can kick, but no, you have to go for the kangaroo, don't you? You guys, kangaroos have very vicious kicks. Fuck you! I'm, <laughs> I'm not having that. You know, kangaroos have very vicious kicks. And as for you, Donovan, you can stop punching me as well. Yeah. That Donovan missed his punch. Ooh, turkey. I'll have that. In a minute. As long as one of the bastards don't eat it. Make sure they're away from it. I mean, there's plenty of 1-ups and there's plenty of gold in here. 
And I'm surprised there's a second chicken in there. Obviously that's for uh, like a uh, player two, but why is that even in here? Why is that here? As I did Sega have faith in their um in their enemy placement and their enemies themselves, and I think, you know, haha, they won't make it past here. They'll need two chickens. Well, not me, mate. I am far too elite at this game. I'm not saying that just because I'm playing through the Japanese version and I'm acing it. There we go, I didn't think there was anything in there. Makes you wonder if this is actually a bonus room or not, because, you know, there's a lot of enemies in it. You know, and it's not as if it's all push though, which, you know, because it's getting harder now, because they're all getting, you know, more health. And of course, those that are cheap, you know, they're going to have some have some fun with you. And look, here comes another bloody ninja guy. Fuck off. <laughs> you can kick me, but I can kick you as well. And I've got very vicious kicks, well, Rue has. Let's see what the punks certainly haven't been able to handle it. Apart from Zed, maybe. He's doing well. Oh, that little tiger guy must have died. I'm hoping that's it. Yep, there we go. And we're gone. Alright, this is the very end of the, um... Very end of this particular section. If you do take a one of the, um... I can't remember which particular route it was, I think... I think if I remember right, it was the second one where you go through the wall. Uh, you come to a, another room just before this one, and there's an extra life right out in the open, which is always handy. So probably better to go that way actually if you're farming for lives. But obviously, I don't need to farm for lives. So fuck, bastards! I hate it when they gang up on you like that. That's pretty much the only fuck off. I mean, that's what the, uh, the special attack's for anyway, when for instances like that, but still, having to pull it out when... Especially when you've got, uh... Fuck! Oh, bastard! Especially when your thing isn't charged up, you know, and you have to drain a bit of health, it's a bit annoying. Oh, and that's, that's really annoying that they can block that, because there's literally one frame free for, uh, free for them between, um... Uh, Rue initiating the attack and actually bringing out his first kick, so they can take advantage of that and block, which is annoying, but it kind of... <laughs> you kind of got to deal with it. I knew he was going to do that. You've just sealed your doom. Uh, let's bring it back out, because you can't attack them when they're off-screen, which is annoying, but, you know, it's one of the things you've got to put out with. Now this, this section right here is my absolute favourite part of the game. I, I don't know quite what it is about it. I mean, there's numerous reasons. I mean, I don't know, the, the music itself is just absolutely brilliant. And, I don't know, the atmosphere, you know, and the fact that we, you know, we're out in the open, you know, we're on the ground floor, you know. We got ourselves a nice, uh, a nice amount of punks, you know, who, who've actually got, um, a generous amount of health. Well, a few of them have, anyway. I mean, most of the Garcia and Julio punks, you know, they're pretty bog standard. But, well, there we go. Oh, we've got Bongo here, he's got a, a, a knife. Oh, oh, we've got a... See, it's everything. Everything about this particular section here, and it's just good. I really love fighting through this section. Uh, sometimes I, I just, you know, I, I like to bring... Oh, fucking hell, that was, that was harsh. There we are. Sometimes I just like to put this on the hardest difficulty on, um, is it on the Western version. Well, not the Western version, because that would be too fucking hard. But sometimes I just like to put it on a harder difficulty set and I just keep going at it, because um, they've got a lot more health on the harder difficulty that you go. Oh, no, you don't. I, I, I don't know, I just love how blue it is as well. It's, it's just like, it's just got a really cool atmosphere about it. And the music kind of sounds a bit, I don't know, a bit... It sounds quite funky. It, it almost fits it, because you're like, you... Of course, anyone who's ever played Streets of French 2, you know, you obviously know what this bit's going to be leading up to, you know, we're at the... Uh, 
the base of a building, so... You all know what this is going to lead up to. Oh, no you don't. It's just great. <laughs> I, I, I cannot praise this this one single section enough. And, you know, occasionally you'll get ganged up, but to be honest, it doesn't actually happen too often because, as you can see, some of the enemies do back off, which is good because it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't make the game particularly unfair. Also, I normally like playing through this bit as Axel, and it's like, just using all of his abilities is fantastic, so you, going through it with Rue is a slightly new experience for me, so... Of course, now we've got our Tiger, guys. I'm not fond of fighting these, especially when I'm with Rue. And of course, we've got our Mr. X, um... Our little Mr. X, mixed Mr. X statues. <laughs> Of course, they break so easily, they might as well just be made out of shortbread or something. I do love that combo, but it's a shame that it doesn't always work on the other tigers. Well, it does kind of work. Obviously, you get chip damage from them. But I don't want chip damage, I want proper full damage. Check you out with your green hair. <laughs> Go on, get out of it. I bet some of you guys aren't even working for like Dr. X and the Sin. Dr. X? Who the fuck's Dr. X? Mr. X and the Syndicate. You know, they've just literally wandered in off the street because they've just seen like a, a kangaroo fight and like, ooh, what's going on there? And suddenly Rue grabs them and starts kicking his shadow and I'm like, whoa, fuck it out, mate. I only walked in because I wanted to have a look. And no, nope, Rue's just killed them all. That's what kangaroos are like. Murderous little bastards. See, they've got more thugs wandering off the street. Seriously, this isn't your business. Go away. This isn't a sideshow. This is serious. And Rouge just going to show you exactly how serious. Oh, nice try, Phoenix. Uh, what the heck? What the heck was that? I know for a fact one of the signals didn't try to stru uh, didn't try to to sweep me. Uh. Come on, you two bastards, get out. Uh. I'm so glad I didn't land into his, uh... Oh, his name's Angle, I didn't notice that. Morning, Angle. Morning, Angle. Of course, those of you that have seen, um, Hot Fuzz will obviously get that reference. Oh, bastard, stop. Oh, 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 you want to be cheap, do you? I could do cheap. Uh. No, I didn't want to knock him down just yet. Come on, there we go. I'm really sad to be leaving this section because, you know, I wanted this section to last a little bit longer, but obviously it can't last too long. Hey, right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the statutory lift section ripped right from Streets of Rage, th uh, Streets of Rage 2. I didn't want to pull out the special there, but never mind. So I'm going to have to get that chicken in a minute. Uh, a little bit sooner than I thought. Go on. There we go. Harlem. Oh, you want a kick, do you? And have these kicks in. Uh, you didn't block. What a shame. Oh, I've got most of these enemies off blockers. Fuck. Oh well. Not doing too badly, at the minute. Like I normally like a panic. Well, don't not panic, but sort of. Um, I have to be a wary when I'm um, doing a lift section because there's obviously no escape. You can't go through the door. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bit too fucking close. But of course, there's nowhere for these bloody knives to go. Save for making them disappear by constantly picking them up. No, Garcia, you cannot pick up the knife, and you're not doing a match of Man Randy Savage. Go away. There's not really much I can say about uh, you know, the lift section, other than the fact that, you know, obviously back in the day, no. Uh, I don't I keep using the bloody power up. Oh god, this isn't going to help either. So, yeah, you know, no 2D beat em up back in the day, you know, could call itself a serious 2D fight without having some sort of lift section. I mean, Streets of Rage, um, Streets of Rage 2, Streets of Rage 3, um, you know, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, Turtles of Time. I'm pretty sure, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, in fact, I don't think it did. 
I don't think the original Turtles arcade game had a lift section like this. I could be wrong, and I think I'm wrong. I have played through and completed it, but I can't remember off the top of me if um, it did. Go away. Actually, no. Now I think about it, I can't remember if Turtles in Time actually did have a, a lift section. Um, it would have been part of the Technodrome section. Uh, well, at least for the, uh, the, 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 um, the SNES version rather than the original. In fact, I'm going to have to go back and uh, uh, find, find that one out. Right, we haven't got a busting amount of health left, so I think I'm going to be losing a life on this stage, so... Yeah, that's why I don't like uh, lift stages. Got barely... Ah, oh, there we go. Barely got any room to um, manoeuvre around, really. There's no escape, no health. I used to be chicken because I was a little overzealous with the um, <laughs> with the special attacks, but still might be worth it in the long run. And if I remember right, I don't think um, Street. Oh, thank goodness I avoided that. I think I avoid that as well, but she didn't avoid that. Yeah, I don't think uh, Streets of Rage 1, that, I don't think that had a, um, a lift section like this. I know it had this little um, this little Royal Rumble section earlier, from um, similar to the one in uh, uh, in the construction level. Uh, oh, no, we nearly lost our first life. There we go. The one thing is I wonder is why Rue actually sounds like a uh, skate in this game. Is there something Skate's not telling us? I doubt it. So like Skate goes up to Rue and goes, Ow! No, it doesn't go out. Stop messing about with your hair, because it's going to get you killed. Well, unless your mate comes and saves you. Don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I allowed that to charge up fully, but it didn't take off too much health, so that's a good thing. But what the hell? I still annoy... So, so you messed about with your hair, and now you're not going to be able to have any kids. Haha. <laughs> oh, this lift section goes on for way too long. I don't care if it is hard difficulty or not, this goes on for far too long, but... Once I kill Diamond, I think that's going to be it. Because when you go up and you see the doors closed... Yep, there we go. Doors closed, so here comes a cutscene. This music kind of sounds goofy for this section. I mean, I mean, after all, all it is is just us fighting thugs. Nothing special. But did you hear how it was? How the game was literally about to play the level from the first, uh, about to play the uh, the music from the first level. Yeah, that's quite um quite an overused theme in this game is the first level music, as we heard it what uh, two, three times already in this game, and uh, nearly four, three times, uh, three or four times. Well, you know, what, you know, what I mean. almost heard it for. Oh. So I got I got an itchy trigger finger as far as the A button is concerned. Stop blocking my attacks, you bastard! Alright, so anyway, yeah, as it turns out, you know, Mr. X has um. Oh, he has sent out a counterfeit version of um. General Petrov, or as it probably should be called, an imposter. But what's he done with the actual general? That remains to be seen. Oh goody. I try I actually tried to jump over her then. Right. I don't think there's many more thugs left to fight after this. I think these women are the last lot. Then we get to fight Mr. X again. 
And of course I say again, I mean in terms of uh, Streets of Rage continuity, because obviously... Everyone's defeated him like twice over already. And he just keeps coming back for more. Although I do wonder how he's able to keep coming back and back. Still, never mind. I didn't think I was going to lose another life there. Right now, Robot X is really, really awkward to play. Uh, not awkward to play against. Uh, awkward to fight. Why is this known in here? Robot X. I'm quite surprised that actually missed me. I was expected to get a face full of bullets. And you can't grab him because he has an electro move. Similar to the one that uh, Dr. Zan has. So if you grab him, he'll electrify you. Obviously, electro move. <laughs> so it turns out that Mr. X is really a robot. Fuck! It, there you go, see? Yeah, you can't, you can't defend yourself against the Tatsu, like Oh, fuck! And for some bizarre reason, Robot X has the fat guy laugh. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Damn! I didn't realise that could he could uh, defend himself against that as well. At least when I'm in the middle of it. There we go. So it kind of explains why Mr. X is always able to keep coming back, and I really have a hard time trying to avoid that missile. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Excellent! Right, I've only got one more hit to go. Oh no! <laughs> And Robot X is down. Ru, you might want to get away from him. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a minor explosion at the X Corporation building today. Two uh, two corpses were found, one of a robot and one of a kangaroo. Anyway, guys, that's the end of episode five. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.